Alright lads and lasses, I'm Eccentric Racer, and I am on Forza 7, continuing on the uh, Time Attack series. Yep, there was a lot of interest actually in this, well, continuing further after the Maple Valley video. So, I've been on Discord, I've been sent a bunch of challenges, this one is in from Wheeler, and all I've got to do is send a Vulcan round the, um... Round, round the Nordschleife, and I've got a beat, if I remember, a 6.39. Let me just get the lap time up. Aye, uh, 6, yeah, 6.39 dead. Uh, that was on a standing, that was, sorry, a rolling lap, not a standing one. And, yeah. And I don't have to worry about uh, it being a dirty lap or anything like that. I'm going to stick to track limits as much as possible. So, like I said, w all I've got to do is beat it in this Vulcan that has upgrades. What? I'm not too sure. All I know is that I think it's had wider tyres because it's a bit heavier and it's got um, more horsepower. That's all I know. I have been warned... I've been warned ever so slightly that it's quite understeery. Uh, why am I going in there? Assist. So all I'm going to do is turn off manual. I've not driven this car and everything's stacked against me because I'm not the greatest. Well, Nords, wheelers faster than me in a car I've never driven before. So, yeah. This should be interesting. Well, enough stammering. Let's go. A lot of, lot of wheel spin there. Love was when they're heading through Shabin Schmidt's um, curve. Now they're getting the power down now, heading the downhill section. Get, oh yeah, I can feel the understeer a little bit. Tires are nice and heated though, so it shouldn't be too bad. Get on the brakes, there we are. Just leave them third for now, there's no point shifting into second. I'm going to try... I was... I'm going to try and make my car... Um, trying to make the lap as clean as possible, but it is probably inevitable that I'll fall off the road. But as long as I beat it at 6.39, that's it. And look now, over the kill, the front end's lifting up, the front end lifting up there ever so slightly. Doing a wheelie over that sort of crest. Well, I've gone through there safely. Nice. And stick doing 180. So far, I am liking this car quite a lot. I'm going to be quite early on the brakes, I'm, like I said, I've never driven this car before, I don't really know what it's like, but I can be extremely brave with it, it is just glued this thing. I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan of the Vulcan myself, I've, I'm, uh, I do like the looks of it, and things like that, yeah, right, heading on to, right, heading on the brakes, come on, get it through, there we are. Run a little bit wide through there. Just get on the power though. Nice and early. There we are, we're out of that section. Where is the ideal place to shoot? Oh, okay, so it's quite high in the revs. On brakes, get it through there. Come on. Ooh, tiny bit of sliding there. However, I'm still, still kept it on the track. Two minutes in. And I think I'm actually near the end of like the B section of like point to point and things like that. Go through this long sweeping my right hander there again. I can sort of feel the car understeering ever so slightly. However, it's really not that bad. I am enjoying this car a lot, actually. It's, it is actually really nice to drive. Head on the brakes, things like that. Right. Get it up there. Oh god, bit of a slide. And then a fourth. Yeah, this is... I'm... I am actually really liking this car a lot. Wheeler's done a... She's done a good job. I will admit. We can clap the curb a little bit. Again, a little bit of oversteer, but... It's just nothing too bad. I could be really confident with the Vulcan. I turned in just a bit too early there. I got really bad lines as I'm now in sort of like the big sort of back straight, as it were. 
me uphill straight. So, Big Britain's zone. I'll probably slow down a little bit too much. I'm not too sure. Probably, yeah, I could probably carry a little bit more speed. I think I lock the, lock the brakes ever so slightly there. However, all through no issues heading up to uh, Carousel. At least I believe it's Carousel. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the expert at Nurburg. Keep it, keep it, keep it. There we are. Oh yeah, it is got so obviously it's it's um banked. Right. Head up for this section again, it's just really conf really conf right. I've got just over two minutes left and I've I believe this is layouts basically like point to point, like C section. In like some of the older forces where you can do point to points, some of you may know what I'm on about. If you don't, then uh, you know that's that's on you. In that case, get it through here again. Just going a lot between third and fourth. First section. Oh god, very wide. Right, I've got about two minutes left. So far, though, I don't think I'm too far behind even on the standing lap and it is still a clean lap as it as it is and through this sort of um, sort of downhill section Damn, I'm, I'm just <laughs> I really like this car to drive the front, the front end lifted ever so slightly through that section definitely felt uncooperative On the brakes, Ooh. so clap the curb a little bit. However, still keep it on track. Right, sort of, right, sort of mini carousel here, and I've got about a minute to go down the back straight. I don't know. I don't know how close this is going to be. Just from a standing start. Right, I'm on the back straight now. <sighs> Right, this is... I generally do not know how close I am to this lap time. I'm amazed I've managed to keep it clean. Right, I've got... Oops. Heading up now, uphill, doing 190. And I've got 30 seconds. This is going to be close. This is going to be really close. Heading again, downhill. Clark the curb, I'm still on the road. Come on, get it through. Nine, nine seconds, just get around here. Come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Get in. Oh, 6.36, I will take that. I've immediately been dead at turn one. Amazing. Well, Wheeler, I did it. Standing start. Oh man, you know what? I really didn't think I'd do it. Not, not especially after a standing start. Right, but what I am going to try and do is I'm going to try and beat this time, and I might send Wheeler a challenge back. I might, uh, I might send him this challenge, see if he can beat my time. If, well, I've set a dirty lap, and I did massively mess up turn one but I am more confident in this car so I know how it drives so I should should be able to carry a bit more speed then yes got a lot more speed through there I believe right, heavy on the brakes under the uh, Yokohama bridge there again coming good speed me front left wheel is a little bit uh, worn, however that's absolutely no issue for me whatsoever and I'll probably break a little bit too much of that section, however it's nothing too bad and just get through here much better this time actually, yeah, but both front wheels are a little bit worn 
but it's to be honest, it's probably going to make my car even quicker. It's going to be up that peak grip a bit more. So the understeer should probably, well, might actually be reduced, which would be nice. Uh, oh God, no, come on. Oh, just a tiny bit of slide out of that section. Get it through there. On the uh, just a tiny bit of a crest there again. On the brakes. It's clapping the curb so slightly. Still got plenty of grip. Minor slide out that section there, just on the power. Smidge too early. Right, come on. There. Right, I'm, how f am I up on my last lap? I, well, I'm standing to I'd hope so. Yes, I am. Uh, not as much as I want, but turn one really did end this entire run, if I'm honest. This down the street, like I said, I, I probably I was a lot more cautious than really I think what this car can actually do. So we can try and be a little bit more aggressive through there. Come on, I was struggling ever so slightly to get up the hill. Was that too much speed? No, kept it on the road just about. Had to be off the power though for quite a long time. Yeah, that was a lot quicker through that section though. Heavy on the brakes. No, probably took too much of a tight line. Just gonna get a bit of a slide out there, heading into cover cell now. Again. Just keep it, keep it, keep it. Oh, I'm gonna understeer wide just a little bit. Shouldn't be too bad though. I don't think Wheelie's going to be happy with the fact that I managed to beat her time on a standing start. <laughs> Considering, you know, like I said, uh, she knows Nerva going a lot better than me, and yet I've done that. Ooh. I'm a little bit down, actually. I'm a little bit slow through that section than I was previously. Really, let's just get it through. There we are. Ooh. Curves just playing hazards with this just ever so slightly. And be through there. There we are. Oh. Yeah, it's feeling like a good section actually. Oh, right, come on. Boom. Boom balls up now. No, I was a little bit slow through there though. I definitely could take a bit more speed. Too used to manual with clutch actually. I just had to, I'm, I don't know if you can hear it, but sometimes I'm just pressing LB on instinct. <laughs> A little bit shaky through there. Come on. Boot it. Carry a lot of speed. <sighs> that might have been a bit of a dodgy corner. I'm not too sure. Um, I did gain a lot of time though through that section. And I think I am... Um, and I think I did... I think I'm a bit quicker on the main street. Come on. That was very good there. And through. Come on. Cross the line. Yes, that was a lot of a, that was a much better final sector there. Well, there we are.
that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I'm to be honest, I'm really surprised that I managed to do it first try on a standing start. I'm I'm really happy with that. Uh, if you did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, hit the supposed more notification bell, and if you have any um, time, t if you have any times that you want me to try and beat, there will be a link in the description to join the Discord. There'll, there's a uh, channel there. Uh, got a few of the rules uh, and how to submit. However, that is it from me. Until next time, ciao for now.